Yes, guys, good evening to all. This evening, I will do a video of St. Thomas Parish Church area. Heading back to this, first of all, this road will lead you back to Whole Town via the West Coast and into the parish of St. James. So, this road will lead you back to Whole Town via Sea View and Lasters Hill and back to St. James on the west coast to the western side of the island yes to the western side of the island so this will be really back to the west coast of Battle St. James heading towards the roundabout now the Lawrence Johnson roundabout and this is St. Thomas Parish Church Anglican Episcopal which is located just above Fort Town so St. Thomas Parish Church is just above Fort Town on the hill above Fort Town when you come up see you on Lassell's Hill then you will meet up on St. Thomas Church. St. Thomas Parish Church was built in 1836. So this part of St. Thomas is enclosed by proximity to the west coast of the island. So St. Thomas Parish Church is situated along Highway 2A, which is known as the Rana Map Highway. That's going to be around the boat now. The Lawrence Johnson roundabout. The St. Thomas Parish Church is located on Highway 2 way which is best referred as the Rana Map Highway. So St. Thomas Parish is located along the Rana Map Highway known as Highway 2 way which is also the main route to the north of the island or the west. So this is the roundabout here, the Lawrence Johnson roundabout, which is also the largest roundabout on the island. Lawrence Johnson on the boat is the largest on the boat on the island. So this lake here, straight ahead here, where most of these vehicles are traveling, will take you back to the north of the island. Also along Highway 2 way known as you want to map Highway, it will take you back to the north of the island with Lancaster, Orange Hill, which is in St. James, and back to St. Peter and St. Lucie, the two northernmost parishes on the island. And this turn over here to the right will take you back to the take you back further east into the parish of St. Thomas with Rock Hall. Rock Hall, which was the first freedom village, is just east of St. Thomas Parish Church. Rock Hall and back to Hillaby, back to Vault Loose and Content. But the Harrison's Cave and Rich Mahogany will all be to the east of St. Thomas Parish Church. And this other leg here will take you back to the highway via Archall and back to Rana Map Highway and Warrens. And this way back to the west of the island and back to St. Thomas Church over here, over here as well.
Yeah, let's go to St. Thomas. It's in the center of the island, along with the parish of St. George. So there is no sea, no coastline in these parishes. But this part of St. Thomas is close to the west coast, or the western side of the island. Just because St. Thomas Power Church is a very this area here is a very busy roadway No, because <coughs> it is leading you to the north and west of the island and it is also a highway. So it will always be busy now. So this area will be rather busy now because it is a highway and it leads to the north and west of the island now. So many people use this road as a fast means to get around the island and instead of having to use traffic on the busy uh, west on the south coast on the west coast instead of having to go on the west coast like um whole town and go down that side people use this road, use the highway fast to get there faster to get to the north of the island Bar Resident and Power Substation here, which is just opposite St. Thomas Church. Again, this is back to the west of the island in Hotong and back on the west coast in St. James and so on. So, again, this is about Hotong and back to the west coast. And again, Hotong is the first settlement where the English settled after slavery. I mean, Hotong is the first English settlement, the first settlement in Barbados where the English landed when they landed, when they, when they settled in Barbados on the 27th of February 1627 the English settled at Hotong in St. James that is why they have the Hotong festival every late ending of February every ending of February they have the Hotong festival in commemoration of the English settlers. Also, the Port of Bear Sugar Factory, which is the long working sugar factory in Barbados. Port of Bear is the only working sugar factory in Barbados since the closure of Andrews in 2013. Yes, because we are in close part Zimity to Rock Hall, which was the first freedom village in Barbados, where the slaves settled after slave where the slaves settled after slavery. In 1838, the slaves settled at Rock Hall in St. Thomas. Because up in Rock Hall and up in Barker Corner as well. So Rock Hall is east of St. Thomas Church and Fort Tongue is west 
of St. Thomas Church. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's because I forgot to mention that this roundabout was placed here sometime in the late 90s because of the highway when they were building the highway this roundabout was placed here in the late it was placed in the late 90s and it was officially opened and it was officially completed by 1996 and There also um, the ceremony for the opening of the roundabout for the opening of the highway was held right here at this roundabout and the plot was unveiled by Lady Map who was the runner map story. We are also in close proximity to Mount Hillaby, which is the highest point in Barbados, 1,116 feet. The Madison Thomas Parish Church again, and the back to the road of the Battle of Tongue, and to the rest of the island. So you can access St. James from either that side, where I guess showed you, or this other side here, straight up here. Which will be back to Lancaster, Orange Hill and Westmoreland, and Stone Hill, all in St. James. To the west, St. Charles St. James is northwesterly. So we are close to the Barbados' lawn working sugar factory, which is known as the Port Vale sugar factory. Well, thank you guys for watching now. Have a blessed evening.